Hello, and welcome back to Reboot Robot. I'm Carlos Charlie with another open box of some sideshow collectibles statues, and uh, these are bigger than I thought. I mean, I'm in my room right now, and I can't even breathe or move around or anything. So it's amazing. I mean, these statues are not really new. They've been out for a while. You can still get them on the sideshow website. Although on eBay, I do see this cable going up in price. I'm guessing the edition size is running out. So just a heads up, if anything. But I mean, I want to start my uh, X-Men type of statue collection. So I figured these two would be an awesome start. I do have some Marvel characters. I have a Silver Surfer and a Spider-Man. So they'll kind of be in the mix for now until I get more X-Men figures and have my own little, you know, X-Men collection. So uh, I just want to start out with these two. And I think I'll open up Cyclops first, so let's check them out. All right, let's talk about the box art for just a little bit. Right here, you see pretty much it's like a comic book type of cell shading of the actual statue and figure. Not bad. And of course, he's giving his own, you know, mutant ability of the optic blast coming from his eyes. So, I mean, around the box, not really anything too special. Pretty much the optic beam just going around the whole box pretty much so yeah it's pretty much it and the top is the x-men symbol but um i mean it's simple but i guess it does a trick but uh yeah let's look at the most important part which is the inside it's edition size 11.59 out of 12.50 so this is pretty much i think almost out of stock Okay, and here's the Cyclops statue, and to be honest, I really like this figure. I mean, I've heard he got a lot of hate when it first got shown from a Sideshow Showcase like a year and a half ago, but for me, I actually like this figure. The base is cool. The base is like a huge laser that just ripped through it, which was probably from him, and then he just pushed forward attacking or defending something. But, um, and the paint apps are pretty good. I mean, they look pretty solid. And what I actually really, really like about this statue is the loadout that it has on his visor and face. Uh, let me show you that in just a second. Okay, as you can see here, he has a serious, you know, serious visor looking into the horizon or a more focused look right here. Or you could take off his visor, which is, you know, right there, normal visor. And you see the real Cyclops right there. He only has one slot, like an actual Cyclops, but no. You see right there, you could actually use this visor, which is a more, you know, optic blast going on there. See right there? It's a translucent optic blast, which is, you know, pretty cool. And also that look on his face makes it look like a more focused optic blast. If you don't like that, you could actually use this one, more like a aftermath cooldown of the blast, which uh, I kind of like that effect right there so that's not bad liking it serious look after an optic blast or if you don't like that at all if you want more of a screaming action look here's another headpiece you could use you could just take this off put this head on and use the actual same visors that I used before, which you could, you know, kind of mix and match, which I actually really love. So you have there him yelling, maybe, you know, getting ready for a blast. Bam, right there. This looks awesome. I think this goes well with that blast, obviously. Or he's yelling after the blast effect. So this is why I really like this statue. It gives you, you know, kind of a mix and match. And also it gives it a feel of an actual exclusive collector's item. You know how they have extra headpieces, extra cool little swap outs. But this is actually the original version, the original collector's edition. There's no special edition or, you know, a small edition size of another one. This is actually it, the basic one, which I pretty much think you get, you know, more bang for your buck. So that's 
why I really like this piece. All right, now next is cable, and this box is huge. Can't even fit in my camera video, but the box is awesome. Love the art. Looks a little cartoonish, but that's the actual figure right there on the front side. Premium format cable. We got a little X-Men symbol there on the side. Pretty awesome. And a huge X-Men symbol in the back. And that's pretty much it. And the top part, it says a huge cable here on top. So let's get this bad boy open. Right, and here is Cable and he is massive and he is heavy <laughs> and he has a lot going on here way more than Cyclops obviously but yeah this is a really cool looking figure the base has a lot of going on you can see like a Cerebro's helmet you can see Wolverine's mask it's like in the future of what was it called days of future past where the X-Men are pretty much defeated or in a weird you know dystopian no hope future but anyways the base has a lot of story to tell and you could see him like i like the portals that are on his back like he's going through a portal either coming back through time or going to the future or whatnot but uh and i love this the shoulder pads man that just screams cable you know cable back in the 90s cartoon so i do like the art direction of this statue i think it's really awesome he has uh the arm which is has uh what's it called the techno techno infection or whatever that's called that's running rapid through his body and uh, he has a huge gun man he has all kinds of guns and artilleries yeah this guy is really really cool and like i said heavy but um he also comes with a poncho and um i'm all about that poncho game so let me uh let me see if i could put it on him all right, now here he is decked out in his poncho and I'm digging the poncho. I think it looks really cool, kind of a uh, mysterious, futuristic. And there's also like the bottom of it, it's all like tattered and with dirt and dust, really cool detail. And it's also, as you can see, when I touched it, it's mixed media, so it's like real cloth, but um, I'm digging it. I'm digging this, uh, this poncho. And the trick of actually putting this on is um, take the pieces off and kind of um, put the pieces on top of the cloth, if that makes sense. Like for example, like uh, like this, I kind of made it like, you know, so Paul Drawn would go over the cape. Let's see here, like that. So it kind of keeps it down. And also you don't want the cape, if you don't do that, the cape will go over the Paul Drawn or the shoulder pad and over his arm. And um, you don't want the poncho covering detail. That just makes no sense unless you're trying to get some sort of theme. I get it. But um, other than that, you want to keep, you know, this away from any little detail, which I probably should have done with this shoulder pad too. But um, other than that, yeah, I'm really digging this figure. I'm surprised that it's, you know, still available online because it's a, it's a beautiful figure. All right, now here are the two statues side by side and it seems like they really do scale with each other, which is excellent because this will be part of my X-Men collection. And I mean, they look awesome. What I do like is that they do share the color of the blue and the yellow. So that's really awesome. But I got to admit, Cable has a little more detail. You can see on his suit, through his abs, his shading, everything else. But other than that, I mean, it, they go well together. It doesn't really matter and also the bases the bases are a little dark you know dirty except uh cyclops has snow but if i really want to run a theme it'd be like i don't know they went to the future together and they were it's snowing over there i don't know whatever but all i want to say is that they do match and they look awesome so that's uh pretty much all i have have any questions or comments please leave them below and I will catch you on my next video. So live long game on and peace.